Hi, church. Pray this finds you well. I have a few thoughts, but first I want to read a couple paragraphs out of The Three Battlegrounds. If you have not read this book, it's a great read. It's a good Christian book. It is by Francis Frangipane. It came out quite a few years ago. It's on a couple of later editions now, but it's definitely worthwhile picking up. Probably find it on Amazon. If you can't, throw me a text or something. I'll see if I can find a copy for you. But on page 32 of this edition, he starts the heading as Taking Every Thought Captive to Christ. And he, in it, he writes, While we may find comfort in being Christians, being a Christian has not made us perfect. There are still many strongholds within us. Therefore, let us identify some of these spiritual fortresses. Rare is the Christian who is not limited by at least one of the following strongholds. Unbelief, cold love, fear, pride, unforgiveness, lust, greed, or any combination of these, as well as the possibility of many others. Because we excuse ourselves so readily, it is difficult to discern the areas of oppression in our lives. After all, these are our thoughts, our attitudes, and our perceptions. We justify and defend our thoughts with the same degree of intensity with which we justify and defend ourselves. As, as it is written, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, Proverbs 3.27. In other words, the essence of who we are is in our thought life. The essence of who we are is in our thought life. Therefore, before any deliverance can be truly accomplished, we must honestly recognize and confess our need. We must stop pretending everything is all right. We must humble ourselves and seek help. Indeed, as previously mentioned, the first stronghold that God must remove is pride. For until, for until one is willing to admit that he needs deliverance, he will never be free from strongholds. And I'm going to skip a paragraph and it goes down and, and he writes, But let us also realize that Jesus can, that only Jesus can be like Jesus. As we yield to him in increasing degrees of surrender, as we abide in him and his word abides in us, he brings forth life that is not simply like his own, but his very own life. Christ himself living within us fills God's eternal purpose, which is to make man in his image, for us to be image bearers of God. It is this coming forth in the presence of the Lord Jesus that makes the weapons of our warfare mighty, empowering our words with authority as we pull down strongholds. I want to encourage you to work on your thought life, work on, on what is going on in your mind because that drives the machine, that drives the body. Whatever's going on in your mind, wherever the most, most of your time is spent thinking, that is the essence of who you are. Believers, we need to take time and work on those things. Like uh, Frangipane said, we need to first get rid of pride to see that there's a need to work on those things. So that's my challenge for you tonight. Work on your thought life. Work on controlling it. Work on, on putting the Word of God in there and seeing things with the mind of Christ and the heart of Christ. Until next time, be blessed. Onward.